Hi ladies, today I thought we could do something a bit different. In fact, I would like to think that Wednesdays could be our girlfriend's day where I can catch up with you and share with you what I've discovered in the world of being a woman over 50. This week, I've got some really exciting things. I've got how you can burn 800 calories easily. <laughs> yes, we really can have our cake and eat it. I've also got a natural alternative to HRT. Perhaps HRT isn't for you or you're not quite ready for HRT. I've got something that really works for hot flashes. And I thought I would touch on this week's fashion when it comes to being a woman over 50. So let's stay cozy and let's get started. So first up, let's talk about something we can all relate to. I know that when I hit 50, I found that I was piling on the pounds around my middle. And in reality, I just don't want to hit the gym. I find it a little bit intimidating. I certainly don't want to be doing high intensity workouts. I find those exhausting. And often I don't feel that great afterwards. And I think the science actually is proving that our high intensity workouts aren't that good for us as we get older. So I found some fascinating facts about how women over 50 can stay trim and lose weight or burn calories, should I say, without doing very much. In fact, you can burn anything from 800 calories to 2,500 calories using something called NEAT, which I think is NEAT. <laughs> it actually stands for non exercise activity thermogenesis. I can't believe I remembered it. but. Basically, it's the calories you burn from doing everyday activities like walking around your house, your garden, doing the housework, even stood doing the dishes. The best part, it's super doable and doesn't involve any hardcore workouts. So what I loved about reading this is that those of us that perhaps have a very sedentary lifestyle can boost our calorie burning or NEAT very simply by just for example, standing up when you're watching your favorite TV show, when the commercials come on, just popping into the kitchen, putting the kettle on and staying stood during the commercials. One thing that I do often is that when my phone goes, I have a little walk around. So I'll tend to sort of, my, my husband will say I'm marching around or pacing through the house, but actually that's doing this whole thing. Neat, you're burning calories. So the basis is that you produce adrenaline when you start to move and that in turn burns fat. But yeah, the old boffins in the science academies have proven that you can actually burn two and a half thousand calories a day, which is crazy. So all the more reason to get out your duster and do the household chores. But it can be something as simple as tapping your feet or getting up during the commercials doesn't have to be anything extreme, but we all know, don't we? Bottom line is we all know that we do need to move more. So yeah, I'll get the vacuum out a little bit more, I think. So I thought that that was super interesting this week. So let's talk about menopause. Now, most of my audience are either perimenopause, menopause, or have gone through menopause. I'm 55 and I have gone through menopause. Um, and I would have to say that it was not an easy road. At first I thought it was. I thought that I was absolutely plain sailing with this one and it was fine. But actually memory loss or brain fog and hot flashes were pretty debilitating. And I know for a lot of you ladies, you will have felt that too. Well, it's really interesting that science is catching up with everybody that kind of knew about the natural alternative medicines. Not everybody wants to have HRT. So some of the top natural approaches are now gaining attention like herbal supplements, dietary changes and lifestyle um, adjustments, if you like. One natural remedy which is making waves this week is black cohosh. I think that's how you pronounce it or cohosh. It's a herb that's been shown to stop or alleviate hot flashes and mood swings. Now, of course, every woman experiences menopause individually, but I do think oftentimes we have things in common such as the hot flashes, mood swings, anxiety can creep in, and many women have found it useful to take black coash as a supplement to balance those symptoms without turning to other HRT alternatives. So flaxseed is another one that's getting a lot of attention. It's rich in fatty acids, so it's rich in omegas, 
and omega-3. And that can help with hormone regulation and improve your overall mood. Additionally, many experts are highlighting the importance of mind-body practices like yoga and meditation. And I've been practicing yoga for 14 years now. Gosh, I can't believe it's that long. And I love my yoga practice and it does help me manage stress and definitely helps me manage my hormones, I guess. Diet also obviously plays a key role. So incorporating foods rich in phytoestrogens like soy and lentils can support our hormone balance. And I was really interested to read that. So yoga, herbal supplements, diet, and of course, the most important thing is to make sure that whatever you do, it suits you because not one size does fit all at the end of the day. So my final thing that I've been looking at and reading about in the magazines today is fashion. And as you know, if you've been with me a little while, I used to do fashion on this channel. I now have another fashion channel, which I'll link for you. So in the news this week, it's highlighting that we should be looking at comfort and simplicity. <laughs> <laughs> What's not to love there? Comfort and style. So Spotlight is on chunky knits with little ankle boots, making us feel really autumnal, but also super on trend. So key pieces that are timeless. We don't want to be spending a fortune to change our wardrobe every single season. So reaching for things that have really good textures like suede, denim, chunky wraps and chunky knits, and colors this season. So there's a lot of leopard print and there's a lot of burgundy, forest greens, dark mustards, all of that perfect autumnal winter colors that I love. Probably not the mustard though. I don't love mustard. I think it's my coloring, but you probably do. At the end of the day, style is individual. So it's up to you and you don't really need to buy anything. I'm sure you'll be able to refresh something in your wardrobe. So that's my cozy catch up for this week. I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I wanted to create a very welcoming, lovely Wednesday gathering for us girls so we can get to know each other. Let me know if what I discovered this week is something that you've seen too. And of course, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed today's video. Until next week, bye for now.